Hello friends, my name is Dr. Bhupat Singh Bharti. I am a senior consultant urologist practicing in Manipal Hospital, Karadi, Pune. On the World Kidney Day, I advise few tips for the kidney health. One, keep yourself active and fit. Fitness is very important from the kidney point of view. Uh, more you are fitter, body weight is under control, lack of obesity, your kidneys will be working very good in the long run. Get yourself monitor from the kid, uh, blood pressures. Blood pressure monitoring is very important. Uh, if you are hypertensive, if you have a family history of a hypertension is there, get yourself checked for the blood pressures because in a long run, patient with the blood pressures, they have a kidney infections. So get yourself monitored on the regular basis from your healthcare providers. Regularly check your sugars. If you have a family history of diabetes or if you are having a diabetes, monitor your sugars regularly. Long term diabetes patients do have affection with the kidneys. For the good kidney health, sugar should be under control. Then I strongly recommend my patients have a good balanced diet and diet should be low salt. For a good kidneys, it is very recommended salt should be low one and protein should be less. I recommend and urge it should be a low protein diet. Uh, protein diet I strongly recommend like a uh, low on the animal proteins because that is more prone to get a stones in the patients. Diet should be balanced. You should not be doing overeating because overweight, obesity, strong risk factors for the kidney patients. Then comes the hydration status of the body. Very commonly asked by the patients in a population also, how much water we should take for a good kidney health. I urge, I recommend, at least in a population, everybody should take 2.5 to 3 liters. This is the minimum water required. This is required to clear the toxins from the kidneys. The more you drink water, you are releasing the toxins, sodiums and all other electrolytes they are losing from the bodies and risk of stone formations also reduces. Uh, people ask, I am an athlete, do I also need to take a 2 liters? Uh, simple answer, if you are in the outdoor activities, if you are working very hard in the daylights, uh, hydration status or how much water your kidney required, it depends upon the color of the urine. The color of urine should be the color of water is my health indicator for my patients. If your hydration status is low, if urine color is showing yellowish or dark in color, hydrate on that day more. That means water is coming less. So hydration status is directly connected with the uh, what color of urine is coming. So drink more water to keep your kidneys stay healthy and fit. Smoking strongly suggest if you have a history of if you have a past history, present history, or if you are a smoker, quit smoking or reduce the smoking. Smoking affects kidneys in the long run. It leads to the cancers also. Uh, very uh, habit is there in the patients of taking a painkillers from the pharmacy counters on a regular basis. We urge as a urologist or a nephrologist not to take a painkillers on a long run from the medical um, pharmacies because NSAID drugs they affect the kidneys on the long run slowly they cause the kidney damage and patients come into the chronic kidney diseases to us. So habit of taking a medicines from the counter is not recommended. Go to your healthcare providers and take the medicines from there. I urge all patients or your population get yourself checked kidney function test on the yearly basis. If you are more than 60 plus one, if you have a family history of a diabetes or hypertension or ischemic heart diseases or you yourself having a stones in the past regularly gets yourself checked yearly once with the kidney functions stay healthy stay fit stay hydrated thank you